The government and those in position of power has been urged to rise and address the ugly situation of joblessness in the country. The rate of unemployment and underemployment in Nigeria has become a thing to worry about as this has exposed so many youths to crimes which ordinarily really they forbid and it posed as a threat to the security and growth of the nation. These were the positions of the primate of all Nigeria, the Most Reverend Nicholas Oku, and a former Minister of Foreign Affairs, also the Chancellor of the Church of Nigeria, Odein Ajumogobia, during an interview session with ACNN news correspondent Mwani Ogechuku and some journalists in Abuja. According to them, the church has little role to play, which is to employ and empower the few they can reach out to adding that the bulk of the work is on the government. Well, I think that um, the church generally, I don't know, different denominations are trying to provide in one way or the other, even much better than we are doing. The lead should come from the authorities of the land because they control the funds of the people. All the money generated in the name of Nigeria is in the hand of the government. So they should administer this thing in, the, in favor of the people. Use it to bring about progress and happiness for them. So uh, why we are fighting Boko Haram? Why we are fighting uh, bandits? Why we are fighting um, um, headsmen, uh, um, um, excesses? We should provide legitimate work for the people to do, to occupy people. I think there, is a, there are so many areas that the government can tap into. Up to today, our race system is still not perfect, apart from Kaduna to Abuja and what they are doing in the, in the southwest. The other areas, we can have a living railway system that will employ people as before, even if it means suspending many things to do it. Because of the importance and the employment opportunity there, it, it requires attention. It's important that um, the government takes this unemployment in particular um, very seriously. Uh, the number of unemployed is getting to dangerous levels. And when people are unemployed in such large numbers, uh, they become a threat to national security. And that's what we're seeing. You're seeing people who are now going into crime um, out of desperation. Um, and it can only increase unless something is done. It's not going to go away by itself. Something, steps have to be taken to try and contain it. And so I'm, I, I'm, I'm sure the government is, is aware of this and are probably planning and taking steps to try and contain it. But it's, it's urgent now. They also condemned the xenophobic attacks on Nigerians in South Africa as they also urged Nigerians to stop the attacks on businesses that have affiliations with South Africa in the country, stressing that the government should look for a way to end the crisis. My own appeal to government is to handle it diplomatically. Because in the course of, um, what do you call it, public outcry, mob reactions, many things can go wrong. The government should handle it diplomatically. We shouldn't, because the people who have shops in, in ShopRite, are they not Nigerians? If you go there and destroy it, you are not helping the Nigerians now. If you go and attack, uh, um, what do you call the um, MTN? Nigerians are employed there. The whole thing will collapse. And then we go further back. So the government should handle it diplomatically so that we, we should not behave like South Africans. Well, Nigeria and South Africa have had you know, long-standing relations um, Nigeria played a very instrumental role in the um, liberation of South Africa and its independence. Um, and that's the relationship we should protect. Um, I think South Africa also, also, also ought to um, take that into consideration in the way it manages a very potentially volatile situation. You've already seen some reactions here. People are attacking South African businesses and so on. That's, that's, that's the worst of, of the worst. Um, so the government must do whatever it, it can to contain the situation and, and manage the relationship with South African government through dialogue to try and stop this um, evil.